So see how this time we have division and multiplication. All you need to remember guys, don't be scared of it. When we're dividing, subtract the indices. Multiplying, what do we do? Add the indices. Okay, that's all you need to remember. And the numbers, you just put them out the front. So we'll go 45 divided by five times two out the front. And see how the pronumeral here, they all have the base of x. They all have the same number x. So when we're dividing, we'll subtract 11 and four. And when we're multiplying, we'll add the extra six. So 45 divide by five and then times by two out the front. So we're gathering the numbers together. And x will have now a power of 11 minus four because we're dividing, we subtract. So 11 minus four. And then because we're multiplying, we add the six, so plus six. So you can put them all at once. And then see, that's the answer. Because 45 divided by five is nine, nine times two is 18. And x will have a power of 13 because 11 minus four plus six is 13. That's all, it's a very, very easy skill. Okay, we wanna simplify this. So this time we have a fraction, but what does a fraction mean? The fraction means to divide. So when we divide, we'll subtract the indices. But we're trying to do this one by one because it's not like just something divided by something. It's something times something divided by something times something. So I'm gonna to try to keep this in a step-by-step -step process. I'm gonna put all the numbers at the front. So I have 10 times eight on the top here, divided by four times five on the bottom here. So then all the numbers shift it to the left. And then here we'll just have x to the power of four times x to the power of 10. And on the bottom we have x times x squared. 10 times eight is 80, four times five is 20. So 80 divided by 20 is four. So I just simplified the number. We're multiplying these, so we add the indices. So four plus 10, subtract. So see how here, if x has nothing at the top, it just means one, isn't it? x, x to the power of one. So this part here will be x to the power of one plus two, isn't it? But because we're dividing, I must subtract the one plus two. So I must go minus one, minus two. So I have to subtract both of these. Okay, so that's why it's not minus one plus two, it's minus one, minus two. Because I'm subtracting one plus two, which becomes minus one, minus two. That's why it's four plus 10, minus one, minus two. Hopefully this part is easy. You can simplify that like that. But this part, I'm going to simplify it like this first. So I'm gonna keep the fraction sign as it is, and I'm trying to simplify the top and bottom individually. So see how x to the power of four times x to the power of 10, we're multiplying, so we can add the indices. So it's gonna be x to the power of 14. And on the bottom, we have x to the power of one times x to the power of two, so it's gonna be x to the power of three. Because we're multiplying, we add the indices. And then we will have, because we're dividing, we're going to have x to the power of 14 minus three. We subtract the indices, don't we? Yeah, because we're dividing. Which will give us x to the power of 11. So that's how you can simplify it if you like to go step by step. I personally like this way as well because it um, stops me from making any silly mistakes. Okay, so keep it like this if you'd like to guys. So this one, see how we get 11 as well? So we get the same answer here, x to the power of 11. And just stick your four out the front, okay?